Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and I'm very excited to be making this video because this is to announce a new capability in our platform that many of you have asked us for over the last few months, few years even. Um, it's something that I want myself for my own personal trading, and it's something that I think is done in a very interesting and unique way, the TrendSpider way, um, where it will give you some additional edge beyond the traditional way in which this is used. So the feature I'm gonna show you today that was just released earlier today is a two-part capability. Um, it allows you to have a way to measure relative strength uh, and other cross symbol um, things. So how an asset is doing against an index or another asset, right? And it also gives you a way to um, identify divergence between raindrops and traditional candles or divergence between various chart types, right? So I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna go in reverse and show you that last part first and then show you the cross symbol functionality after that because the cross symbol stuff is definitely um, a little bit more uh, in depth. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the three dots next to the indicators but button in your toolbar. And in the indicator manager, I'm gonna type the word compare and select the compare. It'll probably say compare price by the time you watch this video, right? But I'm gonna select a compare indicator here. And I'm gonna simply change this from candles to raindrops and leave symbol blank. Um, I'll show you what the symbol thing for, is for in just a moment. And what this will do is it will plot a raindrop chart on my candlestick chart, right? And this allows me to quickly look and see where there are differences, right? And even plot a vertical line where there are. For example, this is a blue raindrop, but this is a green candle. You have the same thing happen here again. You know, and if you continue on through this, you'll see many other instances where these don't agree. Um, for example, this very bullish looking, very green candle here is actually a red raindrop, right? Um, and if you pay attention to this type of difference in, um, you know, what different types of chart types print, this feature makes it very easy for you to do that. Um, and raindrops are one of the best asset classes to use this particular technique with. So we're very pleased and excited to make this easy so that you can do this on your own in a split second in the same way that you would look at an RSI or a MACD or any other lower indicator. You can now look at, you know, different types of uh, candle format or candle charts as well. So that's how it works on a uh, uh, individual symbol, right? Um, you know, it gives you the ability to view other versions of that same chart without flipping through different charts and without giving up significant amounts of chart real estate. Um, this feature also works on a cross symbol basis. And this is where it gets really, really exciting in my personal opinion, um, which is why I saved this part of it for last. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna do a few things here, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna click the three dots on this new compare indicator we've created down here. We're gonna switch this to a line chart and we're gonna type SPY here, right? For the spider, um, for the S&P 500 um, spider ETF, right? And here we can see that this bottom price shows the relative strength or price movement on a closing basis as a line chart of SPY, but the chart above is a C-O-N-E chart, right? And this is um, the only chart in the NASDAQ, or one of the only charts in the NASDAQ Financial 100 that had a good day relative to SPY. So this is how I use this, um, or would love to use this and plan to use this since I actually have only been able to start playing with it in the last few days. Uh, this is hot off the development press right now. Um, as I'm making this video for you guys. So um, this is a, this is great because on a down day like today where the market was not behaving well, I can look at any watch list and say what assets did well. And you can clearly see that as SPY is selling off, right? Um, you know, CAA or CACC here, right? Cone, MKTX, some of these names actually did all right right, in comparison to the market. So, you know, one has to wonder what these assets will do when the market is strong again, you know, maybe on Monday or whenever, um, you know, or in a few days or whenever the market decides to, to catch a bid, right? And this gives you a very nice way to see that on a chart, see how that correlation is. I mean, on this asset, it's almost like as SPY was uh, selling off, rounding down, right, this was popping off. 
right? And that's something worth noting. Um, so that's one way to use this is to get relative strength charts um, on your screen without giving up half your screen for them. You can also do the same relative strength charts, but they don't have to be a line chart. So you can have bars, you can have candles, right? If you want to see the spy candles versus the, the assets uh, candles, you can do that. You can even have spy raindrops versus the assets uh, candles, right? Whatever combination you can dream up, you can generate using this um, handy new indicator that we've created for you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys like this feature and find it useful. Um, it was designed with traders in mind to give you flexibility and control over how you visualize relative strength, what asset you compare it against, and so forth. Um, I do want to highlight this is not the only thing I have to show you, though. Um, there is more. Um, and uh, what I have to show you next is uh, pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, it's new. I haven't seen this in any other platform. So we're, I'm interested to see how uh, you guys in the trading world find use in it, how you guys use it. Um, I'm going to be exploring it myself uh, as a trader for, for the first time as well. Um, and it's pretty cool. It's the ability to pull any lower indicator from any other symbol onto whatever chart you're looking at here. Right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove my new re my relative strength um, uh, subchart. And I'm going to add RSI to my chart. But I'm going to tell it to be the RSI for SPY, not the asset that I'm looking at. And then I'll add the compare thing underneath it also for SPY so we can at least see what that RSI is being built off of. So this is, uh, this is MKTX's chart, right? This is the RSI for SPY. Um, if I like, I can add the RSI for the asset I'm looking at here as well, you know, and look for how these may uh, uh, vary from one another right whoops so this is the ability to pull any lower indicator from any other symbol onto the chart and have it static there almost like you're using spy's relative strength as a uh, uh, comparison indicator of its own um, again this is a new capability we're not actually sure how um how you know traders will use this i'm very interested in exploring it myself but you know we don't pretend to be experts in it um because it is something new that um you know the transpider platform's flexibility allows for so we made it possible but you know we still also have to learn how to use it and we we'd love to learn from you guys as you explore this capability as well um you know it is very much in line with our goal of building very flexible very um you know, customizable software that can pretty much do anything a trader could ever dream up. Um, and we hope that, uh, you know, we're, we're accomplishing that goal for you guys. Um, if you use TrendSpider, everything I just showed you is in your account, uh, no matter what plan you're on. These features were released system-wide to all customers. If you don't have TrendSpider, definitely take us up on a seven-day free trial. Give it a whirl. Let us know what you think. Play with this. But keep in mind that there is so much more to Transpider than just this particular new feature. We've got a half dozen new features planned to be announced in the coming weeks. So thank you again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.